front of me. He's the man that beat the man, which means I'll just beat the man who beat the man. What does that make me? Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Tim Zhu, he stops Tony Harrison in the ninth round in impressive fashion, and now he will be fighting against the undisputed champion, Jamel Charlo, next. For those of you guys who didn't know, they were originally scheduled to fight until Jamel Charlo had an injury. So Tim Zhu, he decided to take a stay busy fight against top five at the time, one of the best junior middleweights in the division, which is Tony Harrison. So immediately after he stopped him, Jamel Charlo, he reacted to the Tim Zhu win, and this is what he had to say. Oh, this is exactly what we've seen. Mm -hmm. Come forward, not as fast and big, bigger pace. Mm -hmm. Strong, of course, throw hard punches. Um, don't we all? <laughs> you yeah. know, like, but I'm a different, I'm a different animal in there. Like, I'm a different fighter than Tony. You can't compare me and try to compare Tony's skills of boxing. He did move um, less than what he normally does, but... Um, Obviously, because the ring was smaller. Correct, the ring was smaller, but, you know, that, that still doesn't, you know, t he, he didn't dog it out. He didn't bring that dog in. If he wanted to fight me, he would have to bring more dog in him. But... The Tim is next, and that's what we have before the injury. So it's not like I'm not prepared already. Right. You Absolutely. Know? So. Yeah. All right. So according to Jamel Charlo, he didn't see anything new. This is the same Tim Zoo that he was preparing for before the injury. I like the point he made when he was talking about Tim Zoo's power. He says, "Yeah, of course he's got power, but don't we all?" Listen, what it basically comes down to is power is obviously great to have. A lot of times it can bail you out of trouble, like Deontay Wilder, for example, like Manny Pacquiao, for example. Fighters that have a lot of flaws, you could usually bail yourself out of trouble when you're getting out box, when you're down on the scorecards with that eraser, right? But power will only get you so far if you don't have the skill to match it. Or maybe I should say if your skill doesn't surpass it. Skill, technique, and defense. Those are the most important attributes to have in the sport of boxing. This is the reason why Ryan Garcia has said on multiple occasions that he believes Devin Haney is the most dangerous fighter out of the bunch when it came to Teofimo Lopez, Javante Tank Davis, and Devin. It's the guy with the least amount of power that they feel is the most dangerous, not the man with all the power, which is Javante. Speaking of power, since I have this clip plan right now, Castaño was someone else who had a lot of power. And we've seen how that turned out. Jamel, he also talked about uh, Tim Zhu's speed, saying that he was slow. Now, that was something that I didn't pay attention to, but of course, Jamel Charlo, he could see things through a different type of lens with his experience. There's no doubt about it. You definitely cannot compare Tony Harrison to a Jamel Charlo. Jamel, he can do it all. Tony Harrison was extremely uncomfortable on the inside with Tim Zhu. And I think that when it comes to Charlo, he's gonna be extremely comfortable. I think there's gonna be times in the fight where Jamel is gonna be trying to walk down Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu, he has a lot of technique and he's a very accurate puncher and he's very aggressive. And a lot of times fighters that are aggressive, they don't like fighting on their back foot, meaning when they have an opponent that's actually forcing them backwards. Tony Harrison tried to mainly rely on his jab. When it comes to Jamel, we're gonna see every punch in the book being thrown. So this is gonna be a hell of a fight. And the fact that now Tim Zhu just knocked out Tony Harrison, which is a man who has a win over Jamel Charlo, that just makes the Charlo Zhu fight that much bigger. This year of boxing, guys, will be the biggest year of boxing and I don't know how long. We have so many big fights this year. This Charlo fight versus Zoo, it's bigger than a Castaño rematch. So we have all of these big fights this year and Team USA is involved in almost all of them. You got Devin Haney versus Lomachenko, USA versus Ukraine. You got Stephen Fulton versus Inouye, USA versus Japan. You got Javante Davis versus Ryan Garcia, USA versus Mexico. And now we're gonna have USA versus Australia, Jamel Charlo versus Tim Zhu. I'm looking forward to it. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, 
burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers. And this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called Elo De Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. One of the most anticipated dog breedings has finally been confirmed. The pups from this pairing of Zeta and DMX will be born very soon. We are now accepting deposits. Our pups will come with ears cropped and a two-year health guarantee. Get ahead of the pack on purchasing a puppy by contacting NWA Cane Corsos on Instagram at NWA Cane Corsos. Call or text 479-326-1603 with any questions. A guard dog is your first line of defense. These will be the right pups for the job. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. My name is Chris and I'm all the way here from Anchorage, Alaska at South Carolina and I'm here for my second treatment of SMP. Well, I was sitting at home one day and uh, going over my Facebook page and they have different, you know, like advertisements popping up and I saw one for SMP and I saw some pictures of some guys, you know, a before and after and I was looking at that and, they, you know, it caught my attention so I Googled it. SMP, nothing showed up in my area. So, uh, you know, I did a little more research and all of a sudden, Scout Carolinas popped up in the web browser. So I started uh, watching his videos and uh, seeing all the reaction from all the other people. We talked on the phone, we made appointments and everything. I sent him pictures and uh, uh, he looked at them and I was like, can you fix this? And, uh, you know, he pretty much said, no problem. My first session, uh, he made me feel extremely comfortable. Uh, it was almost like I was talking to family. He started and uh, during the whole, whole treatment, we talked and, you know, about our families and our life and, you know, and things that he does and things that I do. And before I know it, the first session was over. When you see someone doing something that they love, uh, as much as I see Enoch Glover love what he does, uh, it shows in his work. I wouldn't point anyone in any other direction but here to North Carolina, Scout Carolinas, to get this done.